All right, in this video, I'm going over the cause and effect chart for building green. And I like to think of this as B cause and effect. So, uh, because it's hard for big companies to change their way of doing things, right? Big companies, so many p employees and people makes it very hard to change quickly. Um, and because of this, the effect is many home builders have not changed their habits. So they continue to build in um, maybe not environmentally friendly ways. Okay, and it takes a long time for that change to come about where housing companies will, and part of it has to do with demand. If people, more and more people are wanting these uh, eco-friendly homes, these green homes, um, then the, the big companies will be forced to eventually change because the market will dictate that they need to change or they'll start going out of business. But right now they're still making tons of money doing it um, in using non-green materials and, and construction practices. So in their eyes they think, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it so they don't need to change. Okay, because John Pickard's house was built with recycled materials, because his house was built with recycled materials, the house is environmentally correct or we could say efficient okay. now let's try one where we give the effect first they would be useful for housing disaster victims. So uh, they would be useful for housing disaster victims. What, because what type of houses and what about those houses would make them good for housing disaster victims? Well, in the text, it says that straw houses can be built quickly. That's one of their biggest advantages. And because they can be built quickly, they are useful for disaster victims. Okay. All right. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.